I'm Sir Tap Tap, and if you know me, hopefully you know I don't really like to make the whole angry rant video sort of thing. So, this is hopefully, as you understand, an important rarity. So, patrons screwed up pretty bad this last week. Um, they're updating their fee structure. Boring stuff, right? Um, so basically what they're doing is that, um, and before, we get very variable amounts of money out of patron, right? I currently take home between 80% and 88% of the amount that was actually pledged. And so 5% of that is patron fee and 2 to 10% is a transaction fee, which there's your variance. So that's kind of annoying, right? So their brilliant idea is that creators take home 95% of the pledged amount, patron takes 5%, and they'll add a service fee on top of 2% plus 35 cents. And when I first read this, well, it actually took a couple of reads to understand because they didn't explain it very well. But once I understood it, I was like, oh, hey, well, let me just math that out in my head. Okay, with a $5 pledge. Oh, that's... That gives me more money than people get, you know, pay an extra fee. And then I math that out at my highest pledge, which is $10. It's like, oh, that actually works out even better in my favor. Um, so when I first read this, I was like, huh, this doesn't sound that bad. Uh, but then when I looked on Twitter, everybody hated it. And everyone pointed out that, wait a minute, most common pledge on Patreon by far is $1. Over 50% of my patrons are $1. So... <laughs> When you're at $1, that $0.35, cents, which doesn't sound like much, is suddenly over a third of the amount that you're trying to pledge. And um, that sucks. So that's bad, right? But Patron does this cool thing where they bundle up all of their payments at the end of the month. So you only pay fees once a month. That's brilliant, right? So with Patron... You can spend just $1 on like 20 different people and you only get hit by one fee. And so those people get a lot more money. And in fact, that's one of the cool things about Patreon is that the more people you support on Patreon, the more of your money actually goes to real meat human beings and less goes to nasty evil payment processing fees. Uh, that's awesome. Um, so Patreon being based in Silicon Valley, which apparently legally requires you to be staffed by complete idiots, uh, they decided that, hey, let's dramatically increase the amount of fees people pay. Yeah. See, what people really like is fees. I don't... So th their explanation for this is actually stupider than you might think. But um, their whole problem, quote-unquote, is that, oh, they're trying to roll out this cool feature called p paid up front. Um... Which, or charge up front, which I actually have on my patron, which nobody has ever complained about. And it's actually really cool because with charge up front, patron is, you know, a recurring monthly thing. Not everybody wants to pay monthly. Um, like some people, you know, with bad credit history or whatever, they did, you know, they just don't want to subscribe to monthly things. So they want to give a one time fee. With charge up front, you can, you know, say, hey, here, have $5 and then immediately revoke your pledge. You've still given me $5 but you're not subscribed to the monthly thing. It's kind of a hack, but it works. Um, anyway, nobody's complained about this, but apparently on Patreon considers that a huge problem because the, the only real issue in all of this complete train wreck of garbage is that, say, you know, it's, 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 you know, November 30th, and I pledge $1, and then tomorrow is when I'm going to get pay for the next month. And so I get paid, I pay $2. Wow. Which is obviously the worst thing in the world because obviously if you're voluntarily pledging to somebody's patron, you would just hate to give them a little bit more money, right? It's the worst thing in the world. I hate when I voluntarily donate money and then they get even more money. But here's the thing about that. So they're talking about how, oh no, people will get confused and they won't understand because people are stupid babies and we don't want to explain to stupid babies. But here's the thing. Here's the sad thing. My, so like I said, my patron is charged up front. So I'm like, oh, pretend it is November 30th. Um, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to get, I'm going to pay this $1 here. And today's charge, $1. Next charge will be, you know, December 1st. Oh, so then I, being a real smart human being, I could be like, oh. I'll wait a day and then I won't be charged or I'll be like, oh, I don't care because I want to give this creator money because patron is a thing where I go to give creators money. So I'm fine with that. And then being aware of this information that is literally right above 
the pay button that is like really hard to ignore, I will make my purchase decision. And you know, the sad part is on Twitter, I, w I posted, you know, there's a, you could change the UI to just make people aware of this and you wouldn't need to make this stupid change that introduces all these fees. And I go to check it out and it turns out it, it is already here. They already did the only thing they had to do to make this okay. They already freaking did it. I, I can't believe the stupidity at work here. I'm sorry. Um, but you know, they can make this even better. What they could do is be like, for one thing, if it's like extremely close, they could have like a little extra, like a modal pop up like, oh, whoa dog. In just two days, we're gonna charge you again. But then after that, it's gonna be a month between your next charge. Is that okay with you? And you can click okay and go through. Or what they could do is add a third little pay button here that says, okay, delay my pledge until the next monthly thing. And that way you don't get access, but you're signed up and there you can go. Because one, one of the problems with how Patreon works is that, look at this monthly pledge thing here. So the way it used to work is that monthly pledge A would get access to all patron only posts um, for this period while free. And I, despite being a fairly small patron, um, I had somebody fake sign up to my patron twice. They were a real piece of work. Um, so I got into the charge up front beta. I was like, hey, if you're gonna try and troll my patron, I'm gonna at least make you give me some real money for it. Um, so I turned on charge up front. And like I said, literally no one has complained about this. Um, most people don't even bother claiming the rewards on my patron. And I know that's fairly common. Usually people on patron are making free content elsewhere and people just donate because they're like, hey, I wanna be able to pay you. And that's the cool thing about patron. It lets you pay people, you know? It's, it's kind of in the name. Um, but yeah, so this is all just because of this stupid thing. This is a problem they already solved. In my opinion, if you get angry at this, like you need to calm down, but they could also just add a little warning. They could just make it even clearer. Like I think it's fairly clear as it is, but they could make it even clearer without doing this whole stupid thing. And so because they wanted to avoid explaining to the user that, hey, you might get double charged if you pay towards the end of the month. What they're doing is this. Beautiful. Look at, I can't believe they made this chart. Like they, they, they seriously made these two charts, put them in a blog post and did not realize, holy crap, we have completely screwed up. This is terrible. Like, how do you look at this? And then this, and think, yeah, this is the good one. This is the one I want. Yeah, give me some fucking fees. Mm. Like, well, nobody but PayPal, who, who I assume their payment processor is, because their fee is exactly PayPal's fee plus five cents. But how do you look at this and think this is good? Basically, they're charging, they want to charge you on your anniversary. So you pay on the second of the month, uh, and then your next fee is on the second of the month, which makes sense in theory, maybe? But, I mean, do you pay your utilities on the first of the month? Like, when I signed up for my Mediacom internet, you pay a prorated fee for the first month, and then it gets charged on the first of the month. Almost all of my recurring services that are not, like, annual, I pay them in the first of the month. That is normal. That is not... I don't see a major benefit towards this anniversary model. Plus it also means that I guess that instead of getting paid in a big chunk at the end of the month, I get paid constantly throughout the month. They've not actually made that clear. Um, but I actually pay an extra service fee to you know withdraw my money. So I don't wanna be taking out money every freaking day. I pay 50 cents every time I have to withdraw. I don't wanna do that 10 times a month, you know? Um, so this is just, like I said, I. I think this is more incompetence than it is evil. A lot of people are thinking that, oh, dang, it, this is evil. This is, this is them being greedy. But the problem is, patron, they're only getting their 5% fee either way. Their fee, no matter how much you spend, no matter which system, they're always just getting 5% of the pledged amount. Um, the, the service fee is outside of it. Um, and this, this, this chart is really bad, by the way, because the patron fee is orange in this one, and it's black in this one. The, the, they, they could have made this a lot better. But so uh, Patreon doesn't stand to make money unless this increases the amount of pledges, 
which is another point. So, uh, a lot of people are extremely mad about this, and what a lot of people are doing is they're pulling their uh, fees, or their, their pledges. So I have lost, on my patron, I have lost about 10% of my, my pledges, um, all $1 pledges. I think they're all $1 pledges. Um, I, I haven't actually looked too much because it's depressing. It's like, I, I totally understand if you're my patron, or, um, you're just feel free to leave if you've got to leave or if you want to make a statement to patron. Um, it obviously doesn't make me feel great because I'm losing money for something that I did had absolutely nothing to do with. But uh, if it's what you need to do, yeah. And so a lot of people have been posting pictures of people have lost hundreds of dollars, people have lost hundreds of patrons. It's patrons losing money actively over this change, which is why I think they will go back on this. But um, the whole, the, the, the worst thing about this, every time they try to explain this, it gets worse which I'll actually get to some worse parts later. Uh, initially, it sounded okay, except the $1 thing was dumb. Then I learned that you're paying more fees because they're not bundling them up. That was the smartest thing about Patreon, by the way. The monthly thing let them let you spend small amounts of money to tons of creators, and that money actually gets used instead of getting eaten up by a billion fees. That was like the single best part of Patreon. The fact that you could spend a lot of small amounts on a lot of different people and not just get feed to death. So they're just outright killing the best part of it for no reason and no benefit just because they were too stupid to implement a thing they already implemented. Amazing. Just astounding. I don't know what's in the water in Silicon Valley, but everyone there seems to be a complete freaking idiot. I'm so sorry if somebody listening to this is a non-idiot in Silicon Valley, but every company from there just makes the stupidest, most incompetent decisions ever for no reason. And it is astounding. I, if, if, I swear to God, if Ichio ever moves to Silicon Valley, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> because they'll be terrible within five months, I guarantee. Please never move, Ichio. I love you guys. Don't, don't, go, to, don't go anywhere even into California. I don't know where exactly you're based, but I know it's not Silicon Valley, so just don't go. Maybe it's the rent. The rent just drives people insane. Anyway. On to the part that's actually kind of even worse, and I don't think it's mentioned in this. Oh yeah, another thing about how they mention this, um, everyone's complaint pretty much stems from the $1 fee issue. They don't actually mention the $1 fees in this at all. Like, let me search one $1. Fifteen million, one dollar. No, nope, nope, nope. They don't mention it at all. Um, so they, they don't seem to understand it's an issue, or don't care, or I don't know. But they're losing money, and the the worst thing about this is that I would normally be like, yeah, boycott them. But the problem is when you pull a one dollar pledge, you're hitting the creator for about eighty to ninety cents, and you're hitting patron for five cents. So you're hurting creators way more, which is why I, I, I struggle su to suggest it. But if it's what you got to do, like I said, do what you feel. But um, there's, there's a stupider thing that's not even mentioned in this. But apparently they're also doing away with the thing where currently... Um, so see, on Patreon I have uh, $116 a month, which used to be higher. But uh, yeah, I could say spend you know $10 to go to Alice... $10 to go to Bob, $10 to go to Clive, uh, et cetera, on, to other creators on Patreon. And the nice thing is, if I pledge to people out of my money from Patreon, that does not get hit by a processing fee. That just goes straight out of that money directly to them. Um, I think they might take the 5%, I'm not sure, but there's no payment fees. So Patreon has this nice thing currently where you're incentivized to spread the love. Right? You're incentivized to give lots of small donations to everybody you care about. Um, even if you're a creator, you're incentivized to give to other creators because that way you don't pay the fee. And the more people you spread the love to, the less of the love is consumed by processing fees. Their new setup totally destroys that. Uh, the love will be, the, the amount of love that is consumed by evil payment fees is exactly the same every time which does make for, you know, more consistent payments, but it also means it's going to be a lot more payments made. So, basically, Patreon is destroying all of the good parts of Patreon. 
So for no reason, for the the the. the the reason they're doing this is complete batshit idiocy. Like, <laughs> there's no benefits beyond the, the thing is, what they could do is ignore this part. Just, just this is idiocy. This is, this is bullcrap. What they could do is, so when a fee, when a dollar amount is actually five dollars or more, the new fee structure is actually pretty great. Um, after about eight, ten dollars. So the dashed line is the old fee. The dotted line is the new fee. As you can see at a dollar, the new fee is way higher. But after five bucks, you're pretty much always in the lower range. And after about eight, 10 bucks, you're always below what the amount of the old fee would have been. And I think, at least personally, if you're spending five, 10 bucks, that 35 cents isn't really a big deal. Uh, especially when it's bundled and you only pay one processing fee instead of like 30 a month with this new idiot system for idiots made by a third set of idiots. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, th th this could have been okay. All they had to do, look, like, patron, freaking hire me as a UX designer. All you have to do, make it clear, which you're kind of already doing. I don't know if you knew that, honey, but you're kind of already telling people about the, the charge up front. But you can make this even clearer. If that's your main concern, you can make that even clearer. Make a little option to delay paying until the next payment period and then just don't allow people to see content they haven't paid for. This, the, the, the whole core of this charge up front disaster is that patron just lets people in who have pledged to pay but have not actually paid. Like all they ever had to do was not give paid only content to people who haven't paid. That is... That is the most basic thing literally any company that has ever wanted money has ever done is not give things to people who haven't paid for the things. Uh, I, I can't understand why Patron has problems with that. But I, like I said, Silicon Valley just has stupid juice on the water. Um, but yeah. So, I'm not leaving Patron yet. I hope I don't lose too many more Patrons. I am looking into actively looking into other systems. Um, I set up a Ko-fi account. You can go to ko-fi.com slash or tap tap. And this goes through PayPal. So it's like, they don't even take an extra fee. So they're a free service. Uh, I do pay the PayPal fee, but I pay the fee, not you. Um, and you can also just go directly to PayPal. And like if the two things that Patron currently does, um, well, Patron does three things. One, it is kind of a known brand and has like this community about it. And, um, you know, it's nice to be on Patreon because people know Patreon and it's good. And Patreon has pretty much destroyed that. So good point number one for Patreon is pretty much gone. Um, good point number two is that I get to give these rewards. I can send out Parker pictures. Um, I can technically do that through PayPal because I get people's, you know, you, you send from, through an email account. So I can email you the Parker pictures. Um, but that's obviously a manual thing and that's annoying. And the, so it's a lot easier with Patreon. And the third thing is recurring fees. Uh, patrons recurring, PayPal stuff is one time. Um, Kofi is looking into being able to have recurring fees. So if Kofi could like let me send you like an album Parker Pictures in exchange for your contribution and set up a recurring amount and let me have like a little bit of a community section. Like I do like the community stuff on Patreon, but if I could have like an alternative to Patreon. Like if Kofi, you know, just fleshed out the service a little bit more, I would be pretty happy to leave if Patreon continues down this path. I don't want Patreon to die. I have said some, you know, frustrated things about them, but Patreon is like one of, Patreon is one of those things that I wish I had made because I don't think I would have been an idiot about it for one thing, but also because it just, it's about paying people for stuff that's really hard to get paid for. You know, it lets people get, real money in exchange for providing, you know, free stuff without having to, you know, make paid sections. Um, it potentially lets people not have ads on their stuff. Uh, it's just a really great idea. And I wish, I wish more people would give money directly to the things they love instead of, you know, currently the way things work is that, oh, you know, you don't have a marketing campaign. You don't have, you know, a merch distribution center. So obviously, you know, the bigger ones are going to make so much more money than you. And you don't even have any way to really even get in the door. Patreon lets you kind of get in the door and get a little bit of money. And you know, obviously I'm not, you know, breaking the bank with an amazing 
donations every month. But hey, I'm extremely grateful to my current 54 patrons, which used to be higher. Um, I, I really love this idea, and I really hope this does not go to waste because a bunch of idiots, a bunch of idiot tech bros in Silicon Valley are like, hey, you know what people love? Payment fees, yeah. What we're gonna do is create a service where you pay to get paid. It's like, oh my God. I know, I know, that's right. Anyway, I like I said, I'm not gonna leave Patreon just yet. If they keep this going, I might. I'm, I'm keeping my eyes open on the alternatives like co.fee and paypal.me. If you, if you need to leave Patreon and wanna donate that way, do feel free. Um, no guilt if you leave Patreon over this whole thing. Um, I'm currently not in the best financial system to just, or financial situation to just take that $116 and throw it directly into the sewer drain. But um, I am looking at alternatives and I, I, I think they'll realize that the backlash is too big to do not do something about. But it, like I said, Silicon Valley, stupid juice. It does, it, these things do happen. So at the moment, I don't know. Hopefully things get less bad. That's, that's my fatal optimism, I guess.